Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Just Eat. It is a company that allows you to order takeaway food from thousands of outlets all over the UK. And it's become a huge global business valued at more than £4 billion. But Just Eat is facing questions tonight over hygiene standards at some of the takeaways you can choose from on its website. An investigation by BBC News has found that some have been given the lowest possible rating from the Food Standards Agency. Just Eat insists it takes food safety very seriously and works with providers to improve standards. Angus Crawford reports. They arrive without warning. Here to do your food hygiene inspection. Environmental health officers. The rice. When did you take that out of the fridge? That's what you feel I would again suggest throwing that away. Food for the table ends up in the bin. There are rat and mouse droppings too. And that's not just a worry for people eating in. Customers can also get a takeaway through the website Just Eat. The smell in the kitchen was really unpleasant. And in the back room, the storage room, it was almost overpowering at times. As far as the local council is concerned, this gets a zero hygiene rating. But on Just Eat, it gets four stars. That food, potentially, had it been served to the consumer, could have caused some harm. Um, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not, it's not great. <laughs> Would you eat it there? No, <laughs> absolutely not. And it happens a lot. Zero-rated takeaways, the Food Standards Agency says are in urgent need of improvement, on Just Eat, but with great customer reviews. Our research found 20 out of the 31 zero-rated takeaways in Birmingham are on Just Eat. Nine of the 13 takeaways with a zero rating in Liverpool are listed there. And in Manchester, Bristol and London, half of the takeaways with a zero rating are on the platform. Places like this in East London closed for three weeks in April when inspectors found a mouse infestation. The owners say it's been completely refurbished and is now pest-free. Or this one in York shut down in June because of cockroaches. It's back open now under new management. They told us the kitchen has been thoroughly cleaned and inspected. The infestation has gone. And Zira in Swindon fined £5,000. The judge said the food here could have killed someone. All on Just Eat when the inspectors called. There's one there, the second one there, uh, three, four... But what's the customer to make of it? Consumer rights campaigner Chris Emmins believes the business has got to change. There is a, a duty uh, of all businesses to safeguard their, their customers. And it's no good saying you're just an agent. The reality is Just Eat is making huge amounts of money. They receive the money, they supply the goods. If that was a, a standard traditional business, a supermarket or a travel agent, they would be hauled over the coals considerably for a failure for that sort of lack of due diligence. Just Eat, now a FTSE 100 company worth billions, says it takes food safety extremely seriously. But no one was available for interview. Instead, the company told us, we actively work to raise standards and now offer free accredited food hygiene training to any restaurant that signs up to our platform. And in case of food safety issues, our restaurant compliance team will review, investigate and liaise with the relevant local authority. It's easy to fix. And it's not there. Campaigners want Just Eat to display the actual hygiene rating for each takeaway on the app. The company says it will trial that soon in Northern Ireland. You should be keeping all in the fridge. This pub in West London says it is trying hard to fix the problems highlighted by environmental health. But for customers of Just Eat, a simple question. How clean is the kitchen your takeaway comes from? Angus Crawford, BBC News.